many people with cottages and cabins are being told not to visit those uh, secondary properties. What is the public health logic behind that? And is this something that we would see throughout the summer if these restrictions should stay in place for people with second you know, cottages and stuff like that during the summer? So I think part of it is that there will be some variations between province and territories. But the fundamental principle, I think, being that if you ventured into an area that has uh, low capacity, for example, more remote, more rural, where the access is an issue, and you may impact the local community, that's, I think, the highest um, concern of public health authorities. So that those situations might actually be quite different throughout the country. Uh, so I think that's one of the, the key points. Um, what is important is that you're seeing uh, province and territory recognizing that people need to get outside. And that one of the first phase of easing off public health measures is to ensure that the, the people uh, who haven't been asked specifically to stay indoors, like you've actually a case or you're contacts of cases, that people can go out and, and still maintain some physical distancing and the hygienic measures. So for the sake of mental health, physical health, that is actually important. So that you, you will see them gradually implementing all those measures. Uh, but as to very specific cottage to, you know, town linkages, I can't sort of say that that's a very granular operational element.